Strong. And today we are going to be continuing with our fact series. Uh, but before we do that, uh, you know, YouTube jargon. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, notifications, algorithms, all that jazz. You know what to do. Okay, we're going to be continuing with the fact. One hundred and one. Honeybees can get drunk on fermented tree sap. It affects bees in a similar way that alcohol affects humans, causing flying accidents and making it difficult to get back to the hive. Sober bees at the hive will attack the drunken bees to prevent them from entering the hive. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if every time you went out to the bar and took an Uber home, and all your roommates just jumped you at the door and they just attacked you. <laughs> no, you're drunk, you can't come in here. You're gonna make a mess. Oh boy. They say protect the bees though, right? Number 102. Heart attacks are more likely to happen on a Monday. Okay. This isn't exactly a fun fact, but it is interesting. Heart attacks are increased by 20% on Mondays. The most common time for them to happen is between 4 to 10 a.m. Wow. Um, you, you think it's because everybody hates Mondays? So, <laughs> to go to work on Monday is just more stressful. Because, I mean, that's just odd. How? I don't know. I don't know. I hope none of you get a heart attack. Number one zero three. People with brain damage can suffer from joke addiction. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let me read this first. A study by neurologists showed that some patients who suffered from brain trauma and have developed damage on the right side of their brain have a compulsive obsession to tell jokes which they find hilarious whilst not finding other people's jokes funny. Ooh, okay. So, immediately when I saw this, I thought of the Joker, you know, from Batman. And in the last Joker movie that came out, was it, was it the end of 2019? I think so. Um, what the one with, uh, Joaquin Phoenix? But in that movie, the, uh, he was laughing, like, uncontrollably, uncontrollably randomly, and that's an actual, uh-oh, hello, is everything okay? Something just happened, um, and laughing uncontrollably is actually, uh, I guess a disease that you can actually suffer from. And Joaquin Phoenix actually studied people with that laughing uncontrollable disease in order to prepare for his role. But what if also the Joker in Batman has brain damage? He might. Uh, I'm not a huge comic book reader, so if they have already explored this in the comics, then let me know in the comics. Forgive me for my ignorance. Okay, number 104. Billy goats urinate on their own heads to smell more attractive to female. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Billy goats, or bucks, is the name given to male goats. Generally, they urinate on themselves in late summer through fall. And for humans, it's not a pleasant smell. I mean, I can imagine. Why would you want to smell a goat's pee? Oh boy, goat's you or something else. Okay. Number 105. There has never been a verified snow leopard attack on a human being. I mean, okay. I bet there hasn't been verified attacks of a lot of animals on humans. Yeah, okay. Unlike many other big 
cats, snow leopards are not aggressive towards humans. They are very reclusive creatures, and even if they are disturbed, they are more likely to run away than to attack. Oh, okay, okay, I see why they have this effect now. Because I was immediately thinking that most animals won't attack humans unless you disturb their um, surroundings. So, even if you disturb snow leopards, they'll run away. Uh, good to know. But also, don't disturb animals in their natural habitats. Leave them alone. Number 106. There is a sea slug that is part animal and part plant. Oh, the Elysia chlorotica, a green sea slug, is the first animal ever discovered to create chlorophyll like a plant. This makes it capable of photosynthesis, meaning it is part animal and part plant. That is fascinating. I've never heard of this before. You figured with all the crazy things in nature, there would be more half plant, half animal things. Since plants are already alive, you know, why not just have... And anyway, one, one exists. Number 107. What the heck? The common cold comes from camels. Scientists studying a deadly disease transmitted from camels also found camels contain the pathogens from which the common cold was born. Camels are able to transmit diseases to humans, and this is where they believe the common cold originated. Well, it seems like a lot of diseases that humans have come from animals. Jeez. Unfortunate. Number 108. You can fire a gun in space. Modern firearm ammunition contains its own oxidizer, a chemical that triggers the explosion of gunpowder that fires a bullet. This means that the oxygen-free vacuum of space wouldn't stop a gun from firing as no atmospheric oxygen is required. Wow! So as soon as they start these colonies up on Mars and other planets or just on the space stations, they're gonna bring the guns because then they can shoot people. Oh my goodness. Number 109. Ketchup was a medicine in the early 1800s. In 1834, American doctor John Cook Bennett added tomatoes to ketchup, adding many vitamins and antioxidants to the sauce. He then branded it as medicine to cure diarrhea, indigestion, jaundice, and rheumatism. <laughs> can you imagine today? You have diarrhea, and your mom's like, just eat some ketchup. Eat ketchup. I mean, why not just tomato juice? Anyway, look, I'm no doctor. Number 110. In 2017, more people were killed from injuries caused by taking a selfie than by shark attacks. There were only five deaths due to shark attacks in 2017, which is lower than the average year. The average amount of deaths caused by sharks is six. Worldwide, there were 35 deaths caused by taking selfies in 2017. Well, this kind of makes sense. People like to take selfies in precarious positions. And I've also seen people, like, on cliffs and stuff taking pictures. So, you know, kind of kind of makes sense. Number 111. One, one, one. One, 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 one. The word emoji comes from the Japanese words e and moji, which mean picture and character. The link to English words emotion and emoticon are purely coincidental. Oh, wow. All right. Shout out Japan for coming up with the word emojis. Number 112. Grapes are fatally toxic to cats and dogs, even in small amounts. Oh, that's one thing I did not know. I don't have a cat or dog. Um, I do know, like, chocolate is bad for dogs, but I didn't know grapes. Despite lots of research into the matter, the exact agent in grapes that causes their toxicity to dogs and cats is still unknown. All that 
is known is that they cause acute kidney failure, quickly followed by death in dogs and cats. Wow. That is unfortunate. Number 113. The Louvre in Paris is so large that it can that it would take 100 days to look at each piece. Wow. It's so large and full of so much art that it'd take a person 100 days to look at each individual piece for 30 seconds, 24-7. Hmm. Okay, I did not know that it was that big. I should go there one day. I've never been. Have you ever been? Do you like museums? Hmm. Number 114. Wait, did I say that that last one that I just read was 113? It, it was. I'm sorry if I didn't. Number 114. In the 18th century, smallpox scars would get you a job. By having smallpox scars, it showed that you had already had smallpox. So employers didn't have to worry about you getting it and taking time off work. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> That, that actually kind of makes sense. But it proves that even in the 18th century that taking time off work was like frowned upon. We need a good work-life balance, folks. Good work-life balance. Number 115. Before 1913, you could legally mail a baby. <laughs> Mailing children became common. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mailing children became a common practice in rural America. As the price of the postage for a child was cheaper, the price of a child's trade or bus ticket. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> I don't even have anything to say. Don't mail your kids. I guess I did have something to say. Okay. Number 116. The inventor of the frisbee was cremated and made into a frisbee after he died. Walter Frederick Morrison invented the frisbee in 1948, which was originally called the Pluto Bladder. In, th in 2010, at age 90, he died, and his family cremated him and turned him and turned his ashes into the frisbee. Oh, interesting. Uh -huh. Number 117. By 400 BC, Persian engineers mastered the technique of storing ice in the middle of a desert summers. This was done through the use of subterranean storage space. Oh no, okay, this was done through the use of subterranean storage space and thick, heat-resistant construction materials. Hmm. Yeah. Underground is cold. Makes sense. Number 118. Kit Harrington is related to the man who, invent who invented the... What was I going to say? Invented? Invented? <laughs> Kit Harrington is related to the man who invented the flush toilet and one of the gunpowder plot perpetrators. Mm. Kit Harrington, wow, Kit Harrington, Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, is a descendant of Sir John Harrington. On his father's side, inventor of the flushing toilet, and also Robert Catesby on his mother's side, who tried to blow up Parliament with two Guido Fox. <laughs> oh my god. If you know why I'm laughing, you know why I'm laughing. I'm not gonna, it's just like, it, oh you know what I'm gonna say, it seems like, like a Jersey Shore insult. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, okay, I didn't know that. That's why they call it the John, because it was created by Sir John. I'm going to the John. 
school. Number 119. The word burrito means little donkey in Spanish. So we're eating little donkeys if you eat a burrito. This is because a burrito can carry many things just like a donkey can. Well, okay. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's kind of cool. Number 120. Hawaiian pizza is a Canadian invention. Retired Canadian cook Sam Penopolis was the first person to put pineapple and ham on a pizza together and marketed it as Hawaiian pizza in the satellite restaurant Chatham in Chatham, Ontario. Hmm. I didn't I didn't know that. I haven't had pineapple on pizza a lot, so well, whatever. Number one hundred and twenty one. Every year, the Netherlands sends Canada 20,000 tulip bulbs. This is done as a way of thanking Canada for its role in liberating the Netherlands from Axis occupation during World War II. What, why, what, but why though? Like, what are you gonna do with 20,000 tulip buds? Yeah, you know what, I'm not Canada, I don't have to deal with it. Number 122. Jupiter has a lost moon. The planet's outermost moon, S-2003 J2, was discovered by scientists in 2013 and 2003. Wow, but hasn't been spotted since and is considered as lost. How embarrassing to lose a moon. French painter Claude Monet was only rich because he won the lottery. Like most other artists of his time, Monet was dirt poor, and like most dirt poor people, he played the lottery. His luck changed when he won 100,000 francs and lived a life of luxury and wealth after this. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, artists other than people are all poor now too, so... Whatever. I only say people because he just made a 64 million, I think it was, NFT sale. Wild. Anyway, yeah. Struggling artist is a thing that's been around for ages, it, it, it appears. Okay. Number 124. Before alarm clocks were affordable, there were professional knocker-uppers to wake people up for work. This was something that started during the Industrial Revolution in Britain and carried on in some places until the 1970s. Hmm. Well, I'd just like ask your mom if you live at home or ask your partner. Well, I guess this is for people who have neither, right? You just need somebody to wake you up. Maybe this is why it's transferred over to like hotels. You can have like a wake-up call scheduled. Hmm. I don't know. Last one for today, number 125. Former President Lyndon B. Johnson's life was saved by a random toilet break. During his World War II service, LBJ was due to fly in the observation seat of the B-26 bomber Wabash Cannonball. However, he was replaced when he had to go to the toilet before takeoff. The Wabash Cannonball was shot down during the flight over New Guinea with no survivors. Wow. Talk about a number two saving your life. I mean, because it couldn't have been a number one. Because if it was number one, you just pee and go. But if you got a poop, then I gotta wait for that. Depends on how long it takes for you to poop. Anyway, interesting. Interesting, interesting. Thanks for listening watching and clicking like if you liked and subscribing until next time until next time be well be well be well <laughs>